Hello everybody, and welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. This is episode 3 in our fishing career. And, yeah, well, what can I say? We're back fishing in the North Atlantic. Let's go into our career and see where we left off. I believe we were still on our... Oh! There we go, we sold 1,700 kilos of fish at Yarmouth, that's right. If we go into our map, where are we? We have... We have some deep lines there, and some deep lines there. Perfecto. They've been in 11 hours, these ones have been in 5, okay. So we're gonna dock here. Might as well get some fuel. Um, we'll go to town, we'll see if there's anything at the bar. Pollock and Silver Hake, we're not fishing any of them at the moment, so those tips can stay there. Um, uh, do I want any more gear? I'm tempted to say no. Oh, well, okay, well, I'm tempted to say no, but I think we'll just grab two more. Two more deep lines. There we go, and bait these guys up with squid. Oh, we already had three on board, so now we've got five. Uh... Oh, and we're going to lose money. Okay, so we've got... I just want to check how much, how much gear do we have here? Let's have a look. So we got two there, and down here we have one, two, three, four, four five, six. Just notice we're not quite full up on fuel yet. Some more. Um, so, you know what? I just forgot. God damn it. So, two plus six equals eight. And in our boat, we have fishing gear. We have another five. Um, alright, why not? Let's get them all baited up with squid. If we have gear in the water all the time, at least we're fishing. Alright. Well, let's head out. Hopefully we can get some more get some more fish that is. No, oh, I think that boat's wanting to come in and dock. Maybe? Or is it just hanging out there? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go to our map. And I think the game plan is gonna be, guys, we're gonna go down... We're gonna... Probably, no, we're going to come here first and drop our, our deep lines and then we're going to go down there and pick up the gear at the bottom of the map. And then I think by the time we run to town, sell that, come back, these ones will be ready to go. So that's going to be the game plan. Uh, cannot cross land. Fair enough. Because we did note there's a lot of activity around down here. So I think we need to capitalize on that activity. There we go. There's lots of AI boots flying around the map, or shall we say, boating around the map. Okay. 
deep line bite. Okay, so all our deep lines at the bottom of the map have gone off. Still raining. Get our crew member out to prepare some gear. I'm sorry it's raining, Rudy, but us fishermen, we have to work in all kinds of conditions. There's our boat, the little kipper. Not seen any swordfish or tuna. Oh, there's a tuna. I think we'll, um, Set a deep line there. Some more tuna. There goes another deep line. We have Three remaining to drop. There's a big habitat down there of tuna. Didn't see any swordfish. Oh, there's one swordfish. God, look at that sun. This game has some gorgeous graphics at the right times. The sunset is exceptional, but the rain is a lot to be desired. Set another deep line here. And we've got one more to set. back in the resting mode and while we travel down here and pick up some gear and off we go S steaming south into deep deep water Some deep line bites, that's from our other ones up north. Um, okay. We shall get Rudy out to haul. We'll turn our lights on. Let's pray for some good fishing.
Here we go. It's a nice shark fish. Or swordfish, sorry. Six hundred and nine kilos, not bad. Now we steam north to the next bit of gear. Tuna. Swordfish. 450 kilos. Eh, it's not terrible, but we'd always like more, of course. Hopefully this one up here has got a bit more on it. We well, can see our fish in the back there are all wrapped up. Here we go. Three on this one, perfect. Got a perfect. Solid fish. Oh, we missed it! And if we miss it, does it mean we actually get less fish? Or does it stay there? I didn't quite catch that. Another swordfish. 677 kilos. Not too bad. Go check this boy over here. There it is. I like how the searchlight lights it up. It's very good the way they've done that. Oh, and I missed it. Go. One swordfish. And a tuna. Four hundred kilos. Uh, not the best. Try and do it from inside the cabin. Just to see what happens. Here we go. Swordfish.
82 kilos, is that it? Oh god, that was... That was pathetic. It was like a baby. Oh well. I don't think we'll fish this far down. I think we'll stay closer to shore. So this will be our last one in the deep water. Here we go. I think it's only one fish again. No, two. There's one and and two. Three hundred seventy-seven kilos, not the best. Anyway, that's all the gear retrieved from down there. Let's go up here and pick up these two guys. Well, they're all going blue now. Perfect. So uh, we've... 2,000... Quotas. Oh, okay, so we've got a quota here. Interesting. Alright, I'll look at that... Later. Here we go. Just okay. And a good one. There we go. 581 kilograms. That's more like it. So we've filled the boat half up now. One swordfish plucked out of the water. 249 kilos, not bad for one fish. Better than the 81 kilogram runt we got. We've been fishing all through the night. Trying to bring back the mother lewd. No fish were caught? Oh. Waited too long or not long enough. Oh. Okay. Well, that's the first blank we've pulled up. We've waited 14 hours. I wonder if that's long enough. Okay, now hang on a minute, the red boy is it up. So 
So maybe we haven't waited long enough yet. Hmm. There we go. Now I know we've waited long enough because the red boy comes up. What? No fish were caught or you waited too long, not long enough. What do you what do you mean? We just got the notification that there was fish here. Unless oh maybe it's because I can only have eight deep lines of the boat at one time. Uh, I'm thinking that might be what's it. Let's Let's go back and uh, sell our stuff. Like, let's just go over here, travel, yes. Yes, we want to sell our fish. Perfect. We got... A hundred grand for our swordfish, because they're re they're really good price at the moment, 34 a kilo. Usually sells for 25 a kilo, so it's a great fish to be catching at the moment. Tuna usually sells for 20 a kilo, but selling at 10, so that's pretty bad. So luckily we're focusing towards tuna. So we sell that. And fishing gear. One, two, three... One, two, wait a minute, I'm just trying to count how much we have here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so we can only have eight on the boot max. Um, let's just see how much we had left in the ocean. We left three, so if we sell three... we sell three, we should be right. One, two, three. And we'll bait the other ones up with more squid. Perfect. And off we go. We'll send Rudy back to resting. I forgot I left him out. Sorry, Rudster. And now we go down here and we'll pick us up our lines. Ooh, I forgot to fill up with fuel. Hopefully we have enough. Yeah, we're getting a bit low. Pull her up. Oh, uh, yep, so there's fish there. So, yeah, we can only have a maximum of eight deep lines on the boat at any one time. I'm not sure if that changes with bigger boats or not, but... But with this one, it seems to. 400 kilos, not bad. Alright, we'll get... Rudy out to um, drop us. There we go. 
go. Might as well set one back here again. Drop another one. Pull this one up here. Gee, look at us multitasking. Catching, setting, selling. We're doing it all in this episode. Here we go. Oh, three on the line. Perfect. I think we'll set another one back here again. One, two, lucky last, number three. Perfect. Should go a long way to filling our boot up. 647 kilos, yep. We'll have re prepare some gear. So we're getting close to our next vessel. We have 200 grand in the bank. Which isn't too bad. One swordfish. And a tuna. Five hundred kilos, not too shabby. We just want to set our last line. There's still a good swordfish habitat down there. There we go. Back to port we go. Let's head back up to Den's, Den's Point. And here we are. Guess we want to sell the fish. Um, price of swordfish has come down a bit, but still. We're going to get 43 grand for that. It's not too bad. Tudor's at an all-time low. Perfect. We have 264 grand. Let's take a look at the shipyard here. Available. We have the Toby, which is a long line and net. Little boat. 35 grand. Oh, we could get that out now if we wanted to, but nah. Oh, there's the legend. Which is good for harpoon and deep line. No thank you. And the full throttle. It's the biggest harpoon boat. And deep line fishing. Okay, so they're kind of like luxury cruisers that I kind of can do fishing and the little Toby. Let's go back. Fish market gear. I'm going to bait our remaining lines. Put 
some more squid on him. Then we'll take out one more deep line. And we'll bait that up with squid as well. And, oh, I almost forgot. We need fuel. Can't forget fuel. Perfect. No, oh, I thought I bought fuel. It didn't fill up. Um, okay, yep. Now we're getting some fuel. Must have not pressed the button. The tank is already full. Well, I hope it's already full. Perfect. We have filled up. Now we just gotta wait for them guys down there. Let's see if there's any tips in the bar. Let's take a look. Redfish from a week ago. Nah. Um, do I want it? Do any upgrades to the boat? Not really. Let's skip some time, shall we? Let's let's go forward 14 hours. Deep line bite. Five deep line bites. Perfect. So we'll head down here. Ah. Sorry, Rudy, we're not going to launch any deep lines here. Oh dear, look at that. It's a bit of a fishing fleet coming up the river. Speaking of fishing, that's exactly what I was doing today. Down here in Tasmania, off the bottom end of Australia, I was out fishing with a friend of mine for real fishing, of course, not, not simulated game fishing like we're doing here, but no, I was doing some real fishing in pursuit of the illustrious Flathead. If you want to look them up, just look up, um, well, yeah, flathead fish. Quite a nice eating fish down here. Usually sold as a premium fish. Um, so we did catch a few, not as much as we'd like, but we got a few. So that was quite good. I cooked them up for tea as well. So yeah, let's go down here, oh, can't cross land, okay, that's right, go down here, and there, something is blocking our way, oh. A yellow boy. We'll just go around that. Don't want to rescue. We're 
deep line is out. It seems that these two up here, oh yep, they're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Where have you gone, buddy? seem to have lost our crewmate. I wonder if I... Here we go. Um, and he's not here. Okay. Seems I can get the fish in myself though. Hmm, interesting. I swear we had him when we left port. 600 kilos? That's good. Um, he says he's idle at the moment. I don't know what he's... Why he's idle. Uh, we really can't see him. Kind of feels like... Um, Good old Rudy is uh skipped out on us here. Maybe he got a little bit too trigger happy at the bar. Mm, he's not preparing any gear, so he must not really be on the boat. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to sort that out when we get back to port. Looks like I'm hauling these guys up myself. There's one swordfish. And a tuna. And another swordfish. Seven hundred kilos, not bad. Um, I'm gonna have to set the gear here myself, as Set a deep line. Go over here and get another one. Yep, I'm really not sure why a crew member is uh, missing in action. Apparently we need another crew member. So he's here in spirit, obviously. Perfect. Got a big sword on his nose. Perfect. There we go, 731 kilos. Not bad. Now I have to go out here and do the uh, 
work myself. Driving. these last two lines and I think we're going to have enough fish to be able to finally upgrade our boat. Go. Okay. Couple more swordfish doesn't go astray. Especially the price they're going for at the moment. Four hundred kilos, not too bad. All right, let's set another line out here. So we have all these unbaited lines. It's interesting how we're not filling up the capacity of our boat. I kind of thought we would. But uh, we haven't kind of really come close to doing that. Swordfish. On you come. 700 kilos. Nice. Um. And then, yeah, I don't think we have any more lines that we can put out. Nope. I seem to be stuck. View. Okay then, let's go. Um, let's go and sell our fish at Yarmouth. And off we go. So we have four lines in the water and our fishing spot down there seems to be fairly productive for us. Here we are. Um, Rudy's resting. Well, hopefully he's going to rejoin our boat at this dock here. Maybe he uh, transited from the other dock. Yes, we want to sell our fish. Oh yeah, we're getting more money for the tuna here. About standard price for the swordfish. So 62 grand. Sell fish, we're up to 322. Oh, oh yeah. Um, let's let's see if we get uh, 
Uh, Rudy is still not here. So we're gonna save the career in slot two. And let's see if we can't load our game and hopefully Rudy comes back. Maybe it's just a bug. There he is! Oh, he's got. So he's. What's he doing? Oh, he's trying to get gear ready. He can't. Okay, go and rest. Go and rest, my friend. Okay, let's dock. And let's take a look at the shipyard, shall we? So once again, that's the Borge. We're not going to be taking that one. The Lenore. Now this looks quite spiffy, doesn't it? Lenore is a mid-sized fishing boat that can be rigged for line, net, deep line and lobster fishing. Now that is tantalizing. I think we're going to be purchasing this one, guys. Uh, 295,000. You know what, I think we might want at least maybe 350 in the bank because we're going to have to buy gear. I think we'll... Oh, there's the backstabber as well. What does this one do? Harpoon and deep line. No, thank you. That's what our current one does. Yep. So we're going to buy the Lenore. But not quite yet. We want to make sure we have just a tad bit more money go to the bank, or go to the bar. Oh wait, no, we paid back our loans. Yep, we did that last episode. Let's just check out the bar for tips. Silver Hake, no, thank you. Gear. Let's bait our lines with squid. Squid, squid, lots of squid. One, two, three, four, five. It's August 11th, so we're still going to be able to fish for swordfish for a while. Um, we'll make sure good old Rudy's. Oh, yep, he's here. Put him back in at resting. Been there five hours. Actually, you know what? We might want to redock and just wait for some time to pass before we go pick up them lines. Skip time. We want to skip time by about 14 hours. Return, return. Deep lines are starting to register bites. Go down here. Oh, all three out of four have. Here we are. Back on our fishing turf. Or should I say fishing water. 
fishing grounds. Let's get Rudy out to haul some gear. Here we go. I just don't want to drain our bank completely because we're going to need some more money, no doubt, for upgrades and whatnot when we get the new boat. Kilos, not bad. Hopefully the bigger boat can have more gear, more than just eight on the deck. That would be handy. Oh jeez, some good swordfish down there. I want to drop the bait, the deep line. I we'll have to reverse back up a bit. Must be too close to the next one, and not, and we're definitely far enough away from number five. Because I did see where we could drop it there. Just here we go. There we go. All right, Rudy. Prepare to hold, my man. Hope you enjoy the last time we're going to be fishing with this boat. Because from here on out, it's upgrade, baby. Well, upgrade to the next size, at least for us. Here we go. 424 kilos, perfecto. Coming up on the last one. And we overshot it. Reverse. She's in reverse. There we go. Two nice big swordfish. Got it perfect. Awesome. Hopefully that means more tonnage. Next one, and what do we do? What do we do? 618 kilos, they were big, were massive actually. So we got one, two, three, four, um, one, two, five lines out, perfect. And we've got about 1465 kilos. You know, one thing I would really love for this game to have. Oh, we can get one more. Okay, that's out. So that's our last one. I was about to say, I swear we had six, not five. I couldn't work that out for a moment there. Um, yeah, back to what I was saying. I, I really do wish that this game would let you kind of bait these lines up while you're on the water. 
it would seem silly that you have to kind of do it all before you leave the dock. I mean, this is a fishing boat after all, so um, if there's improvements that are later on made with this game, I would like to see that implemented because the fact that we just can't bait our lines up while we're on the water is kind of ludicrous. But anyway, let's finally head back. Let's take the little kipper back on its last voyage. Well, not its last voyage, but its last voyage for a while, anyway. There we go. Because I think when you buy new boats or ships in this game, you get to keep your old ones. So, the little kipper will live on in our memories. But we're moving on to bigger and better things. Yes, we want to sell. 27k, yes, thank you. 348, I think we've got enough extra in the bank. Let's go to the dock, and let's go to the shipyard. Available boats, the Lenore. Yes, please. So that's one thing I was looking at before, quotas. So we can see here we have quotas of how much of this particular fish we can bring in. So that's kind of cool. There's quite a lot there, so... Let's buy it. Upgrade, here we come. Port ship, congratulations on purchasing, purchasing your first longline vessel. Check the wiki if you need any help using the longline tools. Lenore supports lobster, deep line, and net fishing. You can purchase these at port. Lenore also supports up to two crew members who can assist you with tasks on the boat. Find someone to hire at, at the bars of various ports. Okay. Tutorial line mechanic. Uh, no, we won't play the tutorial. Um, let's just check our crew. We still have Rudy. Perfect. Let's just check our gear. Oh, um, okay. Um, the, uh, we're set up for long line fishing at the moment. Currently rigged for long line, net fishing, lobster fishing, and deep line. So we're gonna buy. Maintenance. Oh, there is rigging. And we wanna buy the rigging for deep line fishing, because that's what we currently are doing. We'll come back and uh, get these other ones later. We're currently rigged for deep line again, fantastic. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's where I think we'll cull this or kill this episode. We finally have our boat. Um, I think just before we end the episode, we'll we will um, name our boat. Maintenance change name, and we're gonna call this. What are we gonna call this one? Um, names escape me at the moment. Last one was the little kipper. So let's call this one. Let's call this one. The 
fishing vessel FB Radium. Perfect. Let's have a look. Here's our boat. The fishing vessel radio. And what a fine vessel she is too. Well guys, that's it. We'll save the game here. Slot one. Little keeper over right, yes. Close. Resume and dock. And yeah, we'll end this episode here. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a well, a very successful episode. We finally upgraded to our next size of boat, and we seem to be having a fairly good season with the uh, tuna and blue, uh, yellowfin tuna. Yes, yellowfin tuna and swordfish. Sorry, forgetting my fish there for a minute seems silly because we've just been fishing them the entire episode. Yeah, with this new boat we're going to be able to test out longline, net and lobster fishing so really pumped for that. And yeah, I just really hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like before you go. It really helps out the channel and this series. Of course, if you didn't like it, you can hit dislike as well. And uh, sub why not subscribe to the channel if you uh, want to see more content like this. Uh, we do all sorts of, you know, PC gaming let's plays and PC tech videos. Just, you know, everything around gaming and PC tech. So yeah, if you uh, want to see more content, I would very much welcome a sub. But, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.